has always been a tough intersection, and for somebody that's not familiar with it, it's very difficult to traverse, not only vehicularly, but also as a pedestrian. So this roundabout, and again coming, we're very appreciative, uh, Governor Baker and our state delegation, about $2.7, $2.8 million. I've kicked in about $1.1, $1.2, plus CDBG disaster recovery money, nearly 300000 and we're working with water and sewer, so it's a $4.1 million project. And it's going to enhance the neighborhood, the traffic flow. It's also going to be very, very good for the area businesses. So there's, uh, you know, obviously no money involved in terms of, you know, electrifying the intersection. If we have a natural disaster, if the power goes out, the, uh, you know, a roundabout remains operational because, it, you know, it is signalized and it kind of operates on its own. So there's a lot of uh, advantages to a roundabout and uh, those are just a few of them.